All right, listen, kid, if you're going to be my new wonder boss, you're going to have to learn how things work around here. Don't worry, boss. I know all there is to know about booze, money, and guns. Those are just the perks I'm talking about running a business, you see? That's what makes all the good stuff possible. Now watch and learn. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Thank you for joining us on this fine day. How may we do business with you today, sir? Well, my political rival's just surging in the polls right now. I would appreciate it if y'all could arrange a meeting. Say no more, Mr. Mayor. This will be the perfect opportunity to show my associates here the political side of the business. I'll tell you what, kid. Politicking really takes it out of me. What's next on today's schedule? We got a new gun for hire here looking for a gig. Oh, do we? My only weakness is all that I love too much, I can't take cover during a firefight, and I expect money for doing stuff. You are a cop. Uh-uh, I am not. I can assure you, officer, that this is a perfectly legitimate business operation, so take this to an enormous stack of cash and be gone, sir. Fine. I have an interview across the street anyway. Another mob boss just put in a casino there. Oh, well, that does sound like trouble. I should get my lawyer to take a look at that. Our shooting counselor, thank you again for your legal services. Of course, Frankie. Arbitration is my speciality. Somebody clean this up. I want this place open for business in five. This neighborhood's getting dangerous, let me tell you something right there. Say, boss, didn't that place belong to Miss Goldie Garneau, head of the fortune tellers? Indeed it did, but don't you worry, I'll work it out at today's uh, sit-down later today. I don't think we have a sit-down scheduled. Well, we don't just yet. Telegram from Miss Garneau. Now there it is. Muscling into my territory, are you, Frankie? We'll keep that up and you'll be whistling your last tune, got it? I'm picking up what you're putting down, doll. Now, is there anything else you need, or did you just come here to waste my time? I'm trying to run a business here. I'm a reasonable woman, Frankie. I think I can forgive this little indiscretion for $2,000 and your help keeping the coppers away from my speakeasies. It sounds good, on the condition that you also keep the coppers out of my brothels. Sounds fair, but in exchange, how about you keep those cops away from my casinos, too? Well, I'd say the same to you, so how about this? You keep the cops out of my brothels, I'll keep the cops out of your speakeasies. We both keep the cops out of each other's casinos, and if we ever see them in the street, we open fire. No questions asked, do we have a deal? To business! To business! To business! Cop! Cop! You're a cop! You are a cop! You are a cop, sir! Who do you think you are? You're not a mob boss! Nobody wants you Go here. home! Go home, you flatfoot! Take some money and go home! Get on out of here! Go! Go, you big... Will I be seeing you again soon? To tell you the truth, I was gonna take one of your hotels later tonight. Mind saving me a trip then? Sure thing, here you go. God, I love business. <laughs> I love business so much, so much business. Look at all the business I have here. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> business. <laughs> business. Business. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait just a minute here. I'm not trying to be no gloomy Gus, but this just ain't the cat's pajamas. You watch your tone, boy. I thought this family meant something, you know. I thought I was gonna be a part of something great. But now I can see this is just a game to use, guys. This dame was the enemy five minutes ago. And what, now y'all buddy-buddy? Just not sure that's the kind of business I could be a part of. Say, Goldie, could you give us a moment? My associates and I need to discuss some business. Initial there and uh, sign here. And that's that you're officially out of the family. Good job, Doctor. Good congratulations on that one. Sorry it didn't work out, boss. No hard feelings. No worries at all, kid. It's business. It's purely business. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a conference to attend at one of our properties. It's been wonderful to meet you. Yes, we really should network more often. Anyone selling booze in here? Damn it, man. Can't you see we're in a business meeting? I just want to be included. Oh, well, that is adorable. Here, go buy yourself a soda pop. Thank you yet again to Paradox for sponsoring this video. This is based on their brand new game called Empire of Sin. It's the first installment. I'd say it's menu light compared to most Paradox games, which I love. There's a whole lot more like animation and visuals going on. Basically, you take the role of a mob boss in like 1920s Prohibition era, and you just try to control parts of Chicago through various nefarious means. It's available to buy now on Steam and probably other locations. There's a link in the description. This has obviously been a rough year, but uh, these videos we've gotten to do for Paradox have really been a highlight for us. So thank you everybody for watching, uh, because by watching and buying the games, you allowed us to keep making more of these, uh, and it's really gone a long way towards uh, helping us stay sane <laughs> during this entire time. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and we'll see you again soon. Really